So we have been waiting a very long time for a new refresh, big map updates, etc. And there's been some leaks and rumors of a map called Avalon. If you saw it a couple of days ago, people have been going into Black Ops 6 and getting a full tour overview of the map. You might have even seen this. Well, I wanted to go in and see it for myself and do a deep dive through it. That was literally a two hour live stream that I did. We spent a lot of time checking out different areas and giving some of my thoughts. And I wanted to put some of the highlights together here, but it got even better because when I went in to go check the new Nuke Town, I found the extra little surprise. Area 99, the new resurgence map that's gonna be coming middle of next month in November. Current leaked date for that is November 14th. We'll see if that ends up holding true. Of course, the biggest question I got was, how are you even doing this? And if you go to find match, private match down at the bottom, create your own, wait a second for it to load, go into game setup and you can select the map load town. You'll also see protocol is on the map, but it's just the map repurposed into it. But Skyline is actually also on this map, but I wouldn't be surprised if we go free cam around here. If you also get to see the full thing, Low Town works though, then go to custom, make sure you give yourself enough time to go through and explore the map. Change your role over to Codcaster and add a couple of bots. Once you get in, hit F to go to free cam, or you can go into the settings and change the key binds, check what it is on controller, and you're free to explore the map. So take a look. I got some of the best highlights from it here, but watch this. Tell me what you think of this map. I thought it was absolutely massive and I really enjoyed the walkthrough of it. I'm excited. I just want some new content. You'll hear me talk about some of it as we go through. Let me know what you think. We have some information that's already in the game. This isn't necessarily crazy leaked information, although it does coincide with what has come out in the past, you may recognize this map from many deaths, even trying to swim around if you've been playing Black Ops 6 here. And a lot of times, the detail on the outside of the maps is a bit irrelevant. But a lot of you guys messaged me yesterday saying that there's a little bit more to the map. So I went into a spectating game to see it for myself. Uh, but I wanted to take a look at the rest of this map with you all. We also got an overview that the community put together. I saw this over on uh, Charlie Intel here. This is a full overview of the map that is supposedly gonna be called Avalon. But how typical is it that you have an entirely full-fledged different map within one tiny, itty bitty little 6v6 map? Pretty rarely. We also are gonna be taking a look at Nuketown. Wait a second, is that a racetrack? What? This is Lowtown, right down there, that little tiny pixel. Two bridges on the right side here going to an archipelago. Is that the right word? Did I just come up with the right word there? Holy. Whoa, there's a golf course too? What? Uh, this is the palace. There's a big palace area down below me here with another maybe resort down there. And then a, a, like a Roman stadium. Maybe football field stadium over there with the golf course. But then there's also this like, that looks like a little city there. Well, let's see. We'll start up in the top level, read it like a book. I just, I can't believe how big these waterways are. I don't know if that makes the map look so much bigger to me, but it, it gives it a much bigger sense of uh, scale and separation. If we're having to swim through that, you know, these are some very nice ruins in terms of sniping position. Look at this. Sniping down from up here is going to be insane. Sniping is so back, imagine. Like, there's some decent sniping spots on Urzikstan, I will say. Very tight-knit. Looks like some ruins here, or courtyard is what they labeled it. Oh my gosh, dude, it just keeps going. Okay, hold on, let's go. Let's keep it up north. So then we can also go over here. They have another gas station. So that's already two gas stations relatively close to each other, if that's what that is. That might be like a convenience store. This is what they called Old Town does have some of those old town vibes i could see why they would want to name that speculatively this almost looks like fortune's keep a crane warehouse area down here more commercial area still a couple ramps up on this side let's see if we can get down underneath this and see if there's a cave way even yeah there's gonna be something down here for sure look at this bridge though I like, a, I like a good bridge. Dude, look at the line of sight to not only this city, but all the way to the hill on the other side. This could be the return of some long-range sniping. 
This is crazy far. So now let's go over to Waste Disposal. Does kind of remind me of Power Plant and how that's set up. I don't actually know. Is this what a real Waste Disposal place looks like? Definitely doesn't look like a Power Plant. Maybe this is a uh, Weapons Factory. Something along the lines of it. Kind of hard to tell with all the blocky assets. Wait, is this the Black Ops 1 WMD map? Holy shit. That's what it is. This is the WMD map from Black Ops 1. Oh my goodness. Dude, I would camp spawn in this window right here. You catch them all rotating out. Wrap back between there and here. The demolition bomb site was right here. Oh, that's what it is. This is the gate. Goes up to the hill here. You go to the right. You could go into the building here, or you can go all the way around for the narrow stair stairwell on the left. Yeah, usually there's a ton of snow, but they repurposed it into this one. We've seen them do this with many maps. This actually reminds me of Blackout a bit, but the port in Blackout was much more attached to the actual siding of it. This is super detached. Look at this. There's like a huge waterway in the middle with a partly constructed boat. I don't know how they plan to get that boat out of there. It's even got a jetty kind of coming out here, blocking the water from coming in, the big waves. I'm guessing this is a firehouse. These big garages here, like a new fire station. Oh, and look at this tower up here. But you know what's straight to my mind? Sniper tower. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at these sight lines. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at these sight lines, bro. This is where we were earlier over at the Coliseum up by the bridge. So what do they call this? Police station, huh? This looks like it. This is, this is the biggest police station that I've seen them ever do, if this is a police station. And absolutely another enormous bridge. This whole hillside is crazy, though. Look at this. You'd have to run all the way up to the side here. No other rappels or ways up. If you had a if you had an end game and you had to climb up this entire mountain, these sight lines, man. Look at how far they're letting. You can see all the way to the call. This is like a 500, 700 meter snipe. If you went all the way to Coliseum, follow that bullet all the way over. That could be crazy long range snipes. This is also new. Look at this. They have a zip line going up to the top of the tower. I actually love this idea. Because right now, there's only one way into these. And so they are just a... They're very death trappy. Extreme. And I love to go in these towers. But now you go up into one of these towers and snipe. Oh my goodness. Look at how much everything... This is, this is the whole map visibility. Have we even... I don't think we've ever seen this. Very small fairgrounds here. Reminds me of the fairgrounds in Verdansk with the Ferris wheel. But this one, of course, down on the water, isolating it out. Almost more like, um, well, just a pier. That is well positioned. I kind of feel like it should almost be lowered down because you can still get over it very quickly. But maybe that's actually for the best to keep it low down. Did you see the train tracks as well? I didn't. Oh, my goodness tunnels through the building yeah look at this it goes over the i didn't even notice this there's a lower fridge tr uh, a lower part of the bridge for the train track to go through but it dead ends so this won't be a working train okay i thought maybe we got a train that goes through the whole map like like the verdansk train like you know a lot of the maps have had trains but this stops Okay, so we took a look at the train area here. That brings us to the first big town. Now, this gives the Caldera vibes almost. The city that was down in the bottom corner, southwest corner of Caldera, was so far out there that and, and so susceptible to the mountaintop with nowhere to go and as edge of the map, you couldn't really spend a lot of time there. You didn't you couldn't spend a lot of time there. This looks like you could spend some time here. This is a train station, it looks like. Is this the train station we went by? It's not. Oh my gosh, this is the paddock. This is this is this is this is a pit lane right here. This is the pit lane for the drivers. 
Oh, the winner's pony. Oh, this is sick, dude. Imagine you're sniping up Stone. here and somebody comes driving by. Has be what? To play the game again. Could follow the racetrack. Should we do the, do a quick lap? Oh, man. Goes down. Through the bridge. Here's the pit. Here's the pits. Pit lane. Kind of going through this backwards. Maybe we got to bring back our death races. Anybody remember those in PUBG? It still keeps going, too. Look at this. There's like a cliffside that goes down into another waterway with a beautiful church here that is massive. Dude, I mean, look at this church size. This is big. This is this is bigger than the Fortune's Keep Church. This is the most detailed building that we've seen yet. Oh, anybody recognize this part? Wait a second. There's a couple of bots here. Okay, so this is where the multiplayer map is. So that's how this fits in. This is where it fits in. But it extends the size of this city tremendously. Oh, wait a second. This is a, isn't this a real place in France? Isn't this a real thing? What's it called? It's not the Eiffel Tower, bro. I'm not that dumb. Arc de Triomphe. This thing? Kind of. Yeah. Totally. Totally. It's the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Okay, you guys are ridiculous, dude. We, we haven't actually been to the Coliseum yet. Here is the, uh train station or maybe dude this is just a train going con underneath a hotel wait a second this isn't a train station this is some type of I don't, hotel government building or something that just has a train going beneath it let's do a little overview of the town now we got we got like three main lane a bit apartment type buildings here with all rooftop detailed rooftops for all of them these aren't just like ac units on the top this is all playable this is trees on the top imagine having a new mode using the map code stone yet code stone me man come on call of duty let's go to the palace though this is what i've been wanting to see oh my goodness wait 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 there's flowing water here wait no okay thought maybe it'd be an underground route right there Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. A beautiful waterfront to fight on. This would be a great end game right here. This would be a great, beautiful, scenic end game overlooking the city in the F1 race. With this huge palace, which you could. I'm sh Dude, this looks bigger than Fortune's Keep Palace. No, 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 it doesn't. But it keeps going. It's definitely longer. I don't know if you'll be able to go into it like the Fortune's Keep one, though. Definitely on the outside. we got a zip going up. Obviously, the roof. Skylight in the middle here. That looks like an interior. And then up further, this is where we get to Coliseum. Oh, this would be a great vantage point down to Coliseum as well. No, never mind. This would be a great rotation. Imagine you dive off here, parachute all the way down. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. Inside the Coliseum, what is this going to be? A giant concert or something? Clearly a reworked blackout map. I've seen a lot of people saying that. And uh, I think there's a lot to be said of similarities from blackout. Look at the zip line going right across these giant cliffs. With no way up down here. Oh my goodness, the trek. There, okay, there's a zip line on this side. That's good. This is just crazy. Oh, the golf course. This is the golf course, guys. Oh, you see? There's a lot of say. Hey, if you guys have seen us golfing lately and having a good time on the sticks with the fast boys, you know, they should recreate this golf course inside of uh, 2K. Oh, my goodness. This is a resort. This is the resort. Kind of even reminds me of the Battlefield Resort. And then this is the big stadium. You can see the railroad comes through it. That goes all the way along the coast under the bridge there, underneath that government building or hotel, whatever that is. But here is the big stadium, and folks, it looks like it's open. Quite open compared to the Verdansk Stadium as well. This looks like a football field, right? Big football field or soccer.
Got to say what it's correctly called. I forget sometimes. Ah, uh, this is what I've been wanting for so long, man. Just more big maps, more big content to do. Just to enjoy and experience some more end games. Let's take a look at this little completely isolated island. It's a little mini rebirth island right here. Mini rebirth. That's the official name. Wait a second. I recognize this. Yo, you guys recognize this map? What's the name of it? I don't even know the name. It's it's the it's the where the training facility is. It's the uh, outpost training facility map with the helipad. They got the statue in the middle here. They got the windows that everybody camps with the zip line on the outside here. This is the multiplayer map. Protocol. The boat here you can go underground and then zip up either side. This is protocol. All the way out on the outside of the island here. This looks like the military base type area. It's not too big either. I think it's all limited because of these islands that they're on. This is the middle firing range named area. Which I was kind of hoping would actually be... Fi Wait a second. Here it is. Right down here. Here it is. I immediately recognize it. Look at where we're standing, guys. Look at where we're standing. On the new Warzone map. Right backside here. Catch a, catch a cool flank. Maybe come camp in the little building in the shack here. Get some of the angles. Take cover behind the car in the back corner or go through the container. Turn their back spawn. Wrap the back spawn. Maybe a quick flag cap. Maybe a quick bomb plant right here. Get the bomb down. Or go sit up in the tower. Sit the tower here with some nice lines. Trees are going to be blocking the vantages, vantage points that way. Oh, man. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I like this. I, I feel like this needs to be closer to the middle of the map. They're putting these map WMDs on the exterior firing range. It's not too bad, though. It's not too bad of where it's located. Okay, I think we've seen the whole map then. Okay, so apparently we can do the same thing we were just doing to see the new Warzone map right here on Warhead. Many of you guys may recognize this map. I absolutely love this one. Of all the strike maps, this is the only one that I actually like. The rest of them are ass. If we zoom out a bit... Apparently, what we have right over here is OG Nuketown, ladies and gentlemen. Do you recognize it? Now, you don't actually get to get over here. But if we follow down the street, this might look a little bit more familiar to you. Some classic Nuketown, folks. How sick is that? Now, of course, this is going to be coming back November 1st to the game. Wait a second. What do we have over there? Area 99 is where they create nuketowns. So, I wonder what's over here. Wait a second. That's another nuketown. OG nuketown. With the route with the route for the uh, RCXD car going on the outside here. Another nuketown map. A couple more craters out here. You guessed it. Another nuketown map. What is over here? What is this? <gasps> it's Area 99! Holy shit, this is the new Warzone map! Holy, this is it! This is the new map! Oh my gosh! Dude, this is it! <laughs> did we just, did we just discover this? Have you guys seen this before? This is it, dude. This is in full detail as well. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not full detail. Yeah, this is a little blocky. But here's the floating house. I played this. This is what we played at Call of Duty next. Holy shit. This is what's coming. I died here a couple of times down at the sand dunes over here. My friend got crushed in the underground uh, <laughs> presser over here, if you saw that clip. Here's all of the living quarters, which do already look a bit more vibrant than what I had played at COD Next. I know that was a big complaint of this map, is that it was, you know, too washed out and brown. Yeah, this is Area 99. This is the new Resurgence map that's coming. Season 1, which is theoretically going to be uh, November 14th. 
This is where they create Nuketown, so I guess it would make sense that it's on the Nuketown map. November 14th, is it necessarily... Well, I guess it was kind of leaked through the promotional material that they posted online that uh, one of the pizza companies that they're working with sent an email out about, but it also coincides with the end date for Season 6 of the current Black Op... Or, excuse me, not Black Op 6, the current Modern Warfare season. Look at this tower. I never even got to go up here, though. This is the vantage point. I think the weirdest part about this map is this center part of the map. It's just a, such a central circular point. It makes some of the end... It's I don't know how the end games are going to feel. The one that I did have ended, I was over here, and I died right over here to a team that pushed me out of here. And they, they basically had one person here, one person here, and one person here. They just had perfect triangle formation on high ground that we could not do anything about, and they, they just destroyed us. But I was also playing with randoms and Tom when I played it, so there wasn't much hope for me. Here's, here's uh, some Nuketown buses where they create the Nuketown buses. The houses. This is literally... Gaber, thank you for the five, man. This is what we're going to be gaming on. It's going to be Rebirth style, yep. Where it's Resurgence, you respawn. This map apparently is slightly smaller than Resur uh, Rebirth, though. I am so happy we went we went and explored this. And here's all the houses out in these sand dune areas. They they're changing they're changing a good amount of stuff here. I know they people always say oh it's the same exact game whatever, but if you play the game as much as I do and some of us do, these are some changes. Oh, look at all the Nuketown signs as well. I didn't really get that much time to actually explore around the map and see it all. There was something underground here though. Look at this. Wait a second. United States of America, Advanced Technology and Applications. Is there a bunker on this map? Maybe this is a secret bunker? Well, it looks like this is the elevator shaft getting us into it. Might have found us a little Easter egg. A little early Easter egg. That is underneath the bus yard here. Maybe just, it might just be a loot spot. Yeah, it could just be a little Heidi extra loot spot. Why do they have it all on one map? I have no idea, but they've decided to do that, and so we can see it all.